something that I said on my previous show. Um, we were speaking about how people uh, put together a GoFundMe for the wall. Um, I believe right now it's up to eighteen million dollars, uh, Barry. All right, and there's another GoFundMe. Let, hear this for ladders to go over the wall. Guess how much uh, they raised? A hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars. So I said on my show, listen, if we were going to take a general consensus based upon the figures that were raised, we could easily tell you that. The general populace, just the uh, the majority of the makeup, they want a wall across this border. I mean, it's logical. It makes sense. Um, it, it's the right thing to do, you know. And the only thing that, uh, you know, the people who are for, you know, support for the open borders have are emotional arguments. Well, you know, how would you feel if you were walking it how would you feel if you were in a country where blah blah and blah as if uh common sense never comes in you know so barry uh, what do you think about that 18 million dollars versus 158,000 would would you believe that uh the majority of the american public would want a wall well not only do most americans want it but I think we should comment, and, and I don't know to the extent that this is true, but the Go, various GoFundMe programs to raise money for the federal government to build the wall have had problems with the host agencies on the web as those agencies don't consider it to be appropriate for the sites to stay up. And I understand the sites have gone down if they're pro-wall and if they're anti-wall, raising money for ladders and escalators and crap like that, well, that's socially conscious. Uh, conscious. I don't understand that. It doesn't make sense to me. I would also point out that the majority of attacks that come from the social progressive uh, movement, the so-called social justice warriors, are saying that walls are immoral. Yep. Meaning they're outside of the moral climate, that we should not have a border that's closed, that we should take everybody in. But why is it, Jermaine? And I talk about this on the air all the time. We have homeless in this country who every day don't have enough food, don't have medicine, don't have health care, don't have mental health care, and don't have a place to sleep. A lot of them are veterans who have come back from wars that we've sent them on, underpaid them to go to Afghanistan, Iraq, and elsewhere, and they live on the street, Jermaine. Where's the outcry to take care of Americans first? Why is it that we have homeless and nobody seems to care? We have people living on the street and no one to feed them, and yet weird, shadowy organizations organize, encourage, pay for people to come up from Central and South America, pay them to come, pay them to come to the border, pay them every day, feed them every day, clothe them every day, provide medicine every day to break down the border of the United States to create social unrest, both at the border and internally when they come across, but nobody wants to step up and take care of Americans. For the life of me, I've never heard an explanation that makes any sense. And if these great social justice warriors, these progressives that care about the people of the world that don't seem to be able to readily get into the United States without breaking the laws, and those laws are horrible and racist and immoral, and you know the story. If those people stepped up and said, you know what? Right after there's no more homeless, there's no more mentally ill that aren't getting health care. There's no more children that go to bed hungry. There's no more veterans that don't have health care. When all those problems are solved, then I'd like to deal with the people at the border. You know what? I might listen. Yeah. <laughs> after. You know, I, I, I might listen too, Barry. Yeah. But after let me tell you, that's a tall order. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. It doesn't fit their agenda, Jermaine. You know, uh, it, 
Barry, one thing I know, and, and, and you pointed this out here about these liberals, is that um, when it comes to uh, this type of topic, they always have an emotional argument with it. It has it's never rooted in logic or anything to do with honesty. And that is something uh, that, you know, is very troubling to me that people cannot see that. Um, it seems as if even liberalism, in a sense, uh, Barry, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that it's a, um, basically a control mechanism to control people. I mean, um, just the very simple fact of how they put you in certain what we call think groups where you're supposed to think in a certain way based upon quote unquote your skin color or where you come from or you know whatever ethnicity you have i mean to me all this is is a control mechanism to keep people boxed in so that you know how to control the masses i mean am i wrong with this barry well i I'm, I'm always hesitant, Jermaine, to say it's a Republican issue or it's a Democrat issue, or it's a liberal issue or a conservative issue. In, in the case of what we're talking about, which is um, safety at, at the borders and protecting American citizenry from people that don't belong here and shouldn't get in, I, I just think it's an American issue. Uh -huh. um, I, it's really hard for me to understand how anyone with a straight face can say, I'm not concerned about who comes into the country. I think we should let everybody in. That person is an idiot. Yeah. I don't think it's a political thing as much as a stupid thing. I mean, come on. How many people have to get killed by horrible, horrible gang member, murderous, violent criminals that have been deported half a dozen times and come back and stab and rape and mutilate and kill on the streets, especially in the beautiful sanctuary state of California. And what's really pathetic is the administration in Sacramento, as an example, which is all Democrat, wants the borders open in San Diego, but doesn't condemn like this police officer who was just horribly killed by an illegal immigrant criminal. Again, just another case like all the other ones. I, I have a, such a problem with saying that all Democrats believe that way because you can't say everybody's just that stupid. Unfortunately, and I really mean this, it's become an agenda item for the Democrats in Washington. Literally, Nancy Pelosi said, we will never give the president a penny for any border protection that has to do with a permanent structure. Now, how do you argue that, Jermaine? How do you say it doesn't make any sense uh, financially when they throw $50 billion at farmers not to grow soybeans? Or $10 billion last week to Central America for just general stuff. Yeah. If Five billion, which is what the president's asking for, is a rounding error in a weekend on the budget in Washington, literally. But they're making the argument that they'll never give him anything. And I think, at least I hope, the polls are correct, that the majority of Americans believe that we ought to protect our borders and that immigrants ought to come to this country legally. like my parents did, like yeah. your parents did. And that gets you the good people to come. And they have to take tests, and they have to be um, with a background that's verifiable, and they have to want to assimilate and become Americans and learn our glorious history. Some of it's bad, but the majority of it's good. And if it wasn't the majority of it good, there wouldn't be so many people knocking on the door trying to get in. They'd be going somewhere else. But guess what? They're coming here. Why? Best country in the history of the world, Jermaine. But we can't let everybody in. 